Yo, as you guys just saw, the Summer Vibes collection of DJ Life clothing drop is going to happen on July 15th. Limited stock. Once these designs sell out, they're never coming back. This one is the premium shirt, the All I Play is Fire, as you guys already saw. Super comfortable shirts, 100% money back guarantee that this is the most comfortable shirt you will ever wear. It's got a tag, but you can rip this tag directly right out. It is tagless. Literally, it just rips right out and you are good to go. So, anyways, let's jump into the video. What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see beside me, I have a variety of speakers and that is because today I'm gonna be answering one of the biggest questions that I always get asked and that is, Ricky, how many people can this speaker do? How many people can this speaker do? How much watts do I need for this big of a room? Or if I bought this speaker, how many people do you think I could reasonably do? We're gonna answer that all in today's video. Let's jump into it. So let me give you the short answer for that question. How many speakers or recommending speakers? The short answer is that no one is right and everyone is wrong when it comes to recommending speakers. Everyone has a different opinion on what is too loud, what is not loud enough, what is more portable, what is not portable, what is actually efficient, what is too much bass, what is not enough bass. Everyone has a different opinion when it comes to this. Some people People have similar opinions like me and my buddy Doug at SLM Entertainment. We pretty much have a similar uh, taste for what we think is enough bass and how much is really loud enough. Everyone's different. Everyone is completely different when it comes to that clarity, output, the, the full range sound. Everyone has a different taste, a different experience for what they think is more applicable in a different situation. So the best answer to that is to use your own best educational guess or go listen to speakers in different environments to see what you think and it's something you you develop over time. The more gigs you do, the more mobile events you do where you get to hear different speakers that other DJs have that you have in different rooms with different amounts of people, different types of events, the better educated you're going to be on choosing the right speaker that is going to work for your personal application. Now with that said, let me give you my personal opinion on what speakers I would recommend in different sorts of environments as well as things that you should consider yourself when selecting a speaker for a certain type of event that you're about to do. So behind me here I have a variety of speakers and these are not necessarily the ones that I would recommend for everyone's applications. These are just the ones that I've selected for my own personal application, the tools that basically I use in terms of speakers for all the different range of events that I do. And more or less, I've broken these up into categories. So like you have your battery powered and portable speakers over here, not shown would be like your column arrays, your beginner type speakers. We have our intermediate type speakers right here with the PRXs. We have our pro level speakers with the PRXs. And then not shown would be something like touring grade speakers, such as line arrays and stuff like that. And within those different speaker categories, each one of them has different benefits or different factors that make them better than say something in another category, which is why you basically can choose which ones are gonna be better for your certain application. So that's why I wanna start off by talking about the different factors that play into making your speaker decision for your particular event. And I'll also touch on why I chose these speakers for my personal take and my personal application. The first factor when selecting a speaker for an event that you're about to do is just that. What is the type of event that you are doing and what is the application that you're trying to achieve for that event? To give you a couple polar opposite examples here, if you're doing a wedding and you're doing cocktail hour, your goal at that cocktail hour is to provide light and airy background music. Not overpowering, not a huge ton of bass, you're just trying to provide basically that background music to get everyone in a good mood for the upcoming reception. Polar opposite to that, if you are doing a high school school dance for 300 students, you want a really, really loud sound system with a lot of bass so that the students literally are like immersed in sound and they're just like having a blast and having a good time. Two polar opposite applications and type of events. Number one factor you need to consider. The second factor is the size of the room as well as is this going to be an indoor or outdoor application. If you didn't already know, the exact same speaker will sound louder indoors than it will in an outdoor application, especially when it comes to subwoofers because in an outdoor environment, there are no walls for the sub to couple with to produce a louder sound. The third factor and probably the most commonly asked thing, people. People are a huge factor when it comes to sound. People are big bodies of water that actually absorb sound. So the more people you have, 
the more they're gonna suck up your sound and the quieter you're gonna sound. Point number four, practicality and budget. Now I guarantee all of us would love to go buy some really expensive JBL SRX or even more expensive RCF series speakers that can push out a ton of output but is that really practical for what you are doing? Are you doing a lot of events that are 150, 250, 300 plus people? If that's not the case and you're more or less doing events around 100 people, it'd be a little more practical and a little more affordable on your budget because we're, we're trying to make money here. We, we charge money to try and make money in this, in this DJ realm. Something like a PRX series speaker would be more practical budget wise and for the type of events that we're doing. That's why if you guys haven't noticed on my channel, 90% of the weddings I do, I use my PRX rig and not my SRX rig. Point number five and the last thing you need to really consider when you're selecting a sound system for a certain event that you are doing is portability. If you're like me and you're doing a lot of weddings in the middle of nowhere at these barns, it's not really that practical to bring some big subs and big speakers that require a trailer and are really hard to get into the location or if you're in a city application where there's elevators and stuff, you really need to think about portability. So now let's dive into my personal recommendations. What speakers do I recommend for the certain amount of people, the size of the room, all that fun stuff. Starting on the smaller side, let's talk about things like wedding ceremonies and wedding cocktails. Now like I just mentioned, if you're doing a lot of ceremonies like I am nowadays, they're in the middle of nowhere. A lot of times very far from power, which is why I've gone to complete battery for the style speakers that I choose to get for ceremonies and for cocktail solutions. For a battery powered speaker, when it comes to a ceremony or a cocktail of around 100 to maybe 125 people or under, I would recommend getting a JBL Eon 1 Compact, just one of them, or a Bose S1 Pro, although the JBL is cheaper, so that's why I would go with that. If you're doing over 125 people, up to 200, you could double that speaker, so get two JBL Eon 1 Compacts or two Bose S1 Pros, or buy one LD Systems Maui 5 Go. Now, if you're doing a ceremony slash cocktail for over 200 people, very far and few in between, two LD Systems Maui 5 Go's will do the job. Now, battery is not a concern for you. You don't really need a battery-powered speaker. You could do just as well with buying one beginner-style speaker, so JBL Eon 1, EVZ Alexis, Mackie Fumps. I would recommend getting the 12 inch version. One of those should be able to do you 150 people at a ceremony or cocktail, no problem. You could also bump up and get yourself into the intermediate category with the PRXs, the EKXs, the QSC K series, the KW series from QSC. All of those are great options. RCF Art, those are all great options for cocktail and for ceremony speakers that are powered. I'll also throw this out there, if you guys have seen my previous videos, I'm not a huge fan of the um, column array style speakers like the EV Evolve 50s or the Evolve 30M now that they got. But one thing that those do really well is cocktails and ceremonies. So if you're looking for a powered speaker to use at cocktails and ceremonies, column array speakers like the EV Evolve 50s or the Evolve 30M are great options. Now let's move on into actual DJ environments where we're playing music trying to get people to dance. I'm going to break this up into two different categories for my recommendations. One we're going to talk about school dances and one we're going to talk about wedding receptions because I have different opinions for what you need for each different environment. So let's start off with wedding receptions. The first category of speakers we need to talk about is column arrays. Column arrays like I said, not a huge fan of DJ environments using column array style speakers. I'm sorry if that offends a lot of you guys. The Evolve 50 is by far probably the best column array speaker that there is out there. I would use it at a wedding reception, but it would have to be 75 people at the maximum, at the maximum 100 people, and the room has to be on the medium to small size, and it cannot be outdoor. That is 100% the only thing that I would ever use those speakers for, and because that is the only application I would use them for, it really limits its functionality in terms of what I can use it for, which is why I personally did not get into column array speakers. So let's talk about beginner style speakers like your Mackie Fumps, your JBL Eons, your EVZ Alexis. There's a variety of other speakers that are in this category as well. Your beginner style speakers, what do I recommend them for? For beginner style speakers, I would highly recommend getting 15 inch versions of the beginner style speakers. Um, two of those tops at a wedding reception, if we are indoors in a medium to small environment, so a medium to small size room, 
about 100 to 150 people would be the maximum that I would do. In an outdoor environment, I wouldn't go above 100 people. That's about the cap I would go for. One thing to consider with only using those two 15 inch tops, you're gonna have a lot of the mid bass. It's gonna sound good. No one's gonna complain about the sound, but in terms of full range, you are gonna be missing some low end. A lot of people would jump to buying a beginner style sub, and I have a whole video on why I don't recommend beginner style subwoofers. So moving on from two beginner style tops, 15 inch tops, let's move on into two intermediate style 15 inch tops, such as the PureX series speakers from JBL, the EVE KXs, the QSC K series, the QSC KW series, what would two speakers in this range do? I would put it at a caps of like 175 for just two tops. I wouldn't go above 175 in an indoor environment. Again, medium to small size room. We're not talking big rooms. When we're talking big rooms, we're gonna move on into the big boy speakers over here. But we're talking medium to intermediate size. All of these wedding receptions are under 200 people. So two of the intermediate tops could do up to 175 people. Outdoors, probably cap it around 125 to 150. Now, so far at wedding receptions, I've only been mentioning two 15 inch tops, beginner style or intermediate style, only been mentioning 15 inch tops. And the reason for that is practicality and budget wise, that is the most practical way to get into this at a low cost is to only have two 15 inch tops. Now, if you are someone that values audio quality and you like full range or you want more bass, there's some other options we can do. So if you take two beginner style tops and you add an intermediate stub, either one 15 inch or one 18 inch, you're not necessarily going to be able to do more people. It's not really gonna make your system any louder for the most part. Now let's jump to the intermediate style speakers, your PRXs, your EKXs, you get the you get the gist. I'm gonna list down in the description down below the full list of speakers that I recommend for each category. You could also go watch my top powered speakers video that explains all these different speakers that are in those categories as well. Now with the intermediate style, if you would like more full range and you would like more bass, I have a few recommendations. If you only want to have two speakers and you want more full range than what just two 12 inch or two 15 inch tops are going to give you, I would recommend looking into the three-way cabinets that they make. JBL PRX 835s, EV EKX 35Ps, or the QSC KW 35Ps, the three-way cabinets. They have a 15 inch sub, an eight and a half inch mid, and a one inch tweeter. It's going to give you a lot more full range than what the single 15 inch or 12 inch speaker will give you. You, again, are not going to be able to do more people necessarily. You're just going to have a fuller range sound. That will come at a con though because it is a heavier speaker and you still have to put it up onto a speaker stand. So practicality might go down a little bit, but you only have to have two speakers. Now the other option is to add a sub. And there are two configurations that I personally would recommend. One would be your 15 inch top with an 18 inch sub, or what I do, which is a 12 inch top with a 15 inch sub. Now with the 15 inch tops and the 18 inch subs, if you go with one 18 inch sub, you're basically going to achieve a full range sound output. You're gonna gain that low and have an equal full range sound output. If you go ahead and buy two 18 inch subs, you're then gonna have a lot more of an impact bass setup. The bass is going to be a lot heavier, so if you value bass at your wedding receptions, get two 18 inch subs, you will not be disappointed. Now the other caveat to that is running the 12 inch tops with the 15 inch subs. And that's the setup that I personally rock and that I personally love. Now the 15 inches don't get necessarily as low as the 18 inch subs, but when it comes to a practicality and budget standpoint, the 15 inch subs are cheaper, the 12 inch tops are a little bit cheaper, and size wise they take up a lot less space. One good example of that, the 15 inch sub will fit underneath of a cover in the back of a pickup bed, the 18 on the other hand will not. And personally in my opinion, a 12 inch woofer produces better mids than a 15 inch woofer. So. In my opinion, this delivers a cleaner full range sound than a 15 inch top and a 18 inch sub. Just my personal opinion. Now when it comes to adding subs to intermediate tops, when it comes to like size of the room and how many people you can possibly do, this will be the first time that I will say adding a sub will actually increase the amount of people that you can do. When it comes to the beginner style speakers, the tweeter which does the highs for the most part is already kind of like at limit when the speaker is running full range versus if you add a sub and take some of the bass out of the top 
the speed the tweeter is already kind of at limit but in the case of the intermediate style speakers normally the tweeter the highs and the mids have a little bit more output that they can reach when you take the bass out of the top and put it into the sub so with that said the 12 inch top with the 15 inch sub I use this indoors in a medium to small size room for up to 200 people. If I am in a large room, this system can handle it, but I wouldn't really want to go above 125, maybe 100 people at max. Outdoors, about that same sort of large room scenario. Outdoors, maybe about 125 to 150 people, no problem with this system. Now, with the 15 inch top and the 18 inch sub, very similar numbers, again, medium to small size room. I wouldn't go above like 225, 200 max. Um, that's about the sweet spot for that. In a large style room, 150 caps. Outdoors, again, 150 caps. That's about what I would do. So that was a long discussion when it comes to wedding reception style speakers. And I'm kind of ending there because mass majority of weddings that we do are rarely above 200 people. If you're one of the rare ones out there that does wedding receptions all the time of over 200 people, like I'm talking all the time, look into something in the pro level category. With the speakers in my pro level category, like the JBL SRXs or the EV ETXs, most of the time, these tops right here, two 15 inch tops, you can do up to about 150, 200 people with just the tops alone. Again, you're gonna miss a lot of that full range sound. So you could do the three-way tops, but I, I really would strongly recommend when you're in the pro level, don't get into the three-way tops because they are ridiculously heavy and hard to manage unless you're some big, strong, bulky dude that can handle them. I wouldn't mess with the three-way tops when it comes to a wedding reception, being mobile, they just really don't fit the bill. The one thing with the pro level tops where they really shine though is when you add subwoofers. The real cap when it comes to the pro level speakers is the bass output. Like I said, the tops alone in a medium sized room could do 150 to 200 people no problem. In a large style room, they could probably do about 150 people and outdoors they could do 150 people with just two 15 inch tops. With two pro level 15 inch tops, if you add two pro level 18 inch subs or one dual 18, you can do 250 to 300 people in a medium to large style room or outdoors you can do 250 people no problem. Problem. If you go beyond the two subwoofers, I'm talking four, six, eight, or four dual 18s, these tops by themselves, when you add a lot of subs to them, again, it comes down to what you consider is adequate bass output. With the correct amount of subwoofers, and say you fly these up in the air so they're nice and high, you can do 400 people with two of these tops in an indoor environment. On an outdoor environment, maybe around 300 to 350, but when you get into the pro level series speakers, you can do quite a lot of people when you start pairing these with subwoofers. And for wedding receptions, I'm not gonna even touch on touring level speakers because if you're doing wedding receptions over 400 people, um, contact me. Let me know, because that's insane. So we talked about cocktail ceremony and we went really into depth on wedding reception setups. I'm gonna end talking about school dances slash small concerts. Now when it comes to school dances, it's really hard to get away with just using like two beginner 15 inch tops. And the main reason for that is because school dances are normally held in big rooms. And in big rooms, two beginner style speakers just cannot do it in terms of output compared to what the students are gonna wanna hear and how loud they're gonna want it to be. You can probably get away with using two beginner style 15 inch tops and a subwoofer or maybe a couple subwoofers for maybe around 100 people, but it's gonna be a stretch. It's really hard to do them. I highly recommend if you're in that sort of area where you have beginner style speakers and you're trying to do school dances um, to rent some speakers. Rent some speakers if you're only doing a couple uh, and keep your beginner style speakers and save up the money to buy something better. When it comes to school dances and concerts, I don't skip out when it comes to bass. Kids love to have bass at their dances. It's just a factor of a school dance. A school dance with bass, the kids love it more than a school dance without bass. So with that said, I always and strongly recommend that you always bring subwoofers to school dances. So talking about the speaker configurations that I mentioned in the wedding reception section, the 12 inch top with the 15 inch sub. Two 15 inch subs, two 12 inch tops. 
in a medium size room about a hundred and fifty people is about what I would do in a large style room 100 maybe 125 it depends with the uh, 15 inch top and the 18 inch subs so two 18 inch subs and two 15 inch tops I would do about 200 to 225 in a medium to small size room on a large style room about 150 to 175 would be that category now moving into the pro level speakers we've kind of already touched on these for the most part they can do a lot of people I would not recommend just using two tops again because I said use subs for all events so if you're using two of the pro level tops with two of these subs on the bottom right around 250 to 300 people more or less 250 in a really large room in a medium maybe on the slightly large room you can do around 300 people now if you wanted to do a school dance of like 400 to 500 students You could still use two of these tops right here But you would want to have some really high stands to get them up high or fly them on truss and then pair them with two dual 18s or four single 18s and you'll be able to do right around 400 to maybe 500 depending on the size of the room if it's really large 400 if it's kind of just a normal large room that can fit 500 students then 500 you can do 500 no problem but that right there is kind of the cap of the pro level style speakers when we get over 500 people we need to start looking into touring style sound systems now on the touring style sound systems I'm not going to get into the really really large touring sound systems the really expensive stuff I'm going to talk more or less about school dances 500 to a thousand students or small concerts around that range the most popular system by far probably on the market is the JBL VRX series. You see them literally everywhere. If you guys, literally if you're walking around places at like concerts and venues and stuff, look for the VRX series speakers. You'll be surprised they're literally everywhere. They're super popular and they've been around for a long time. With that said, they're a constant curvature array so it's really weird when it comes to the amount of speakers that you need. Um, but doing like an array of three or two tops on either side and then adding in like four dual 18 subwoofers uh, you can do right around 800 to 900 if you went ahead and got the full five or four arrays on both sides and you set them up in a proper way and you did like six or eight dual 18s you could definitely get up to a thousand people a couple other speakers in that category that you can look into again with combination of a lot of subwoofers um, the RCF HDL 6s paired with the dual 18s from RCF are a great option in those same quantities that I mentioned uh, the one benefit of the RCF is it's actually a true line array versus the VRX is like a constant curvature array the VRX is really weird when it comes to like sound output and where it goes it, it's really weird when it comes to that it's not a true line array it's also not a true point source it's some weird hybrid in between. Now, one other company I want to mention in the touring category is uh, Martin Audio, also because that's the company I'm looking at in terms of getting a sound system that'll do somewhere in that 500 to 1,000 person range. And these are still powered speakers, and that would be their CDD Live 15 inch tops paired with their CSX Live 218 subwoofers. Again, in similar quantities, two tops with like four dual 18s, you should be able to get somewhere around that 800 to a thousand person range of max output in a large style room again when you go outdoors it might be lowered a little bit maybe somewhere around the 600 to 800 range but you're talking about some big loud speakers when you get into that category and I do want to mention I say touring style speakers but those are definitely when it comes to the touring side of things um, they're beginner level speakers in the touring realm for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about um, there are tour level speakers and then there are consumer level speakers these right here the PRX series your EKX series all this and down that is technically consumer level speakers the SRX's actually fall into the touring category but I would put them on the borderline to that everything when you're talking like VRX and above for JBL and you get into the RCF HDL series and all that stuff you're talking about touring touring level speakers and those are the beginner level speakers when it comes to touring grade sound system I mean you can go all the way up the line to 10,000 person sound systems it gets pretty crazy when you get down to that end but for the most part most of us are not dealing with that I would say the average mobile DJ your cap is somewhere probably around 400 people 
some of us when we get into the school dances are going to get closer to that 800 maybe to the thousand mark but most of us are not going to get anywhere really past a thousand people very rare and not many of us mobile guys are doing a thousand plus that's probably going to be your production guys and i guess a little side plug to the man himself john simmons DJ Woopig, if you want to learn more about production stuff like big sound systems and stuff like that, go check out my man John Simmons DJ Woopig's channel. That's all he does is production concert stuff. They also have mobile DJing and stuff like that, but he does a lot of the production stuff and knows quite a lot more than I do. So if you're looking for the more of the touring grade stuff, go check out his channel. But anyways guys, this was quite a lengthy discussion on applications, speakers, and the amount of people. So I hope you now understand my short answer when it comes to it comes down to your personal opinion. There's a lot of factors that play into it and a lot of it is just this right here. It's mental factors in terms of what you think versus what I think. So here at the end, let me wrap it up by telling you the speaker systems behind me why I chose these and what I use them for. Starting on the far right here, the JBL Eon 1 Compact. Short answer is I really don't use it. That's kind of my like shop speaker, party speaker. I, I don't really use it. If we need it, I would use it for like a cocktail for less than 100 people, probably less than 75 people. Really small events. Main speakers we're going to be using are those right there. The LD Systems Maui 5 goes. We have two, probably going to be three very shortly. We use them for 90% of our ceremonies and cocktails, most of them falling under 200 people, which is what that speaker is really good at. Next in the line is my main wedding reception sound system. That is the JBL PRX 712 Tops with the 715 inch subs. This is the main sound system that I use for 90% of all my weddings. As long as they are under 200 people, I'm using that sound system. If I do have a wedding reception in a really large room or over 200 people, I will bring out my two SRX 715s with my two JBL VRX 918 subs. Now, when it comes to school dances, I pretty much never use my PRX rig, only because school dances nowadays are a lot of hip hop. Hip-hop has a lot of low notes, and those 15-inch subs just don't do it for me in terms of bass output for the hip-hop music. So, I use my VRX subs with my SRX tops for basically all of my school dances, no matter how large, with a cap of 300 people. After 300 people, I start adding more subs that I don't personally own, and then when we get to that like 500, 400 to 500 person amount, that's when I start looking into renting uh, like VRX line arrays to do the job. Anyways guys, that is all for this video. This took quite a bit of time to put together and put all these facts and stuff together. So if you would, please slap a like on this video. If you enjoyed this video, it means a lot to the video and to the channel if you slap the like button, as well as leave a comment down below what you guys thought of this video, what opinions did you agree with, what opinions did you not agree with, what sound system are you rocking that I did not mention in this video? DJ Life clothing drop is July 15th. Link down in the description down below. ShopDJLife.com Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you're not going to miss out on any of the upcoming videos. New videos every single week. Like always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning and I will see you guys next time. Peace.